Math wasn't made up to harass English majors, it was invented by a little something called nature. مشترك في الكالكولس معناه النسبة المثالية في أي تجربة يمكن الأرمز بوث ار سيم ليجز بوث ار سيم هي تناسب يعني الوش فاهم تناسب يعني هي تناسب الجسم يعني مع بعض حاجة ذهبي أكيد حاجة بين حاجة يعني أنت بتبقى عندك شوية كلاب صفرة تمام بتحطيهم على بعض وبعد كده تقسميهم على بابراتهم يطلع لك الجولد ريش ما بين النور والضلمة؟ اه لا ما بين الضلمة والنور؟ The funny thing about the golden ratio is that uh, nobody actually designed a golden ratio. Golden ratio was discovered, it was not designed. Uh, those who were evaluating the paintings in the Pharaonic and the Greek temples. They found out that the ratio of the sides of, uh, of the rectangles that's being used in their painting actually comes up to this to this golden ratio between the, the between its sides, and they discovered that uh, this is the most pleasing, the most natural looking rectangle uh, is the one that has its side as its golden ratio, and uh, the golden ratio uh, comes again in the Fibonacci series as the ratio of uh, the uh, successive numbers. Whenever you have a spiral and plants and uh, a lot of the flowers, you will find that the number of, of these spirals are following this Fibonacci sequence, which can be tied again to the golden ratio. The Fibonacci sequence is continually made from adding the previous number to the current. 1 and 1 is 2, 1 and 2 is 3, 2 and 3 is 5, 5 and 3 is 8. You can see how it continues. But what most people don't know about the Fibonacci is that it actually continually gets closer and closer to the phi ratio by dividing the current number into the last. You can see this happening. 1 over 1 is 1. Well, that's not close at all. 2 over 1 is 2. This time, it's under the required value, but it's still not close. 3 over 2 is 1.5, which is still under the phi value. 5 over 3 is 1.6. This time, it's over the required value, but yet closer. Continuing with that, it's 1.6, 1.625, 1.615384, 1.6150, 1.6160, 1.6170, 1.6171, 1.6171, 1.6170, 1.6170, 1.6170, 1.6170, 1.6170, 1.6170, 1.6170, 1.6170, 1.6170, 
6180. The winning pictures in an international photo contest shows the subtle impact of the golden ratio in creating the best of the best. Each photo shows an overlay of the different phymetric grid and each grid uses golden ratio proportions between every line. The Great Pyramid of Giza is the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world and it was the tallest man-made structure in the world for over 3,800 years. The pyramid was built as a tomb by the old Egyptian dynasty over a period of approximately 20 years. The pyramid is composed of golden triangles and the square base of the pyramid is halved and a vertical line is drawn up to the center. The slant height forms a triangle that measures to the value of phi. The vertical height equals to the square root of phi. The Parthenon is a temple dedicated to a Greek goddess Athena. Its construction began in 447 BC when the Athenian Empire was at the head of its power and was completed in 438 BC. The Greek Parthenon is a true example of endless golden rectangles that create many golden ratios. This math is created by dissecting the exterior dimensions into many divine proportions. The Fibonacci gauge always retains the ratio 1 is to 1.618. No matter how narrow, or wide the gauge is bent. Now let us look at it with respect to the Parthenon. The width of the building, the full length versus the height, also the lower element to the upper element, even further this part is a part of the upper element. This shows that the Parthenon was completely designed on the basis of golden ratios. Another wonder of the world, the Taj Mahal, built by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan, is widely recognized as the jewel of Muslim art in India, and it's one of the most admired masterpieces of the world's heritage. The Taj Mahal is the finest example of Mughal architecture. It combines elements from Turkish, Persian and Indian architectural styles. Comprehensive analysis of orthogonal geometric constructions of Taj Mahal showed throughout the presence of golden section and golden containing figures. The main entrance's doors frame rectangle is accurately the golden rectangle, and the geometry of the arc inside it is also built after golden regularities. It was shown that the ideal of the Taj is rationally and intently based on the golden section figure. The musical instrument's design is based on phi, or the golden ratio. Fibonacci and phi are used in the design of violins, guitars, and the piano. The piano has eight white keys and five black keys, and these numbers are from Fibonacci series, so the ratio between them is phi. The golden ratio in the human body is in the distance between the fingertip and the elbow with the distance between the wrist and the elbow. The distance between the shoulder line and the top of the head with the height of the head. 
The distance between the navel and the top of the head with the distance between the shoulder line and the top of the head. The distance between the navel and the knees with the distance between the knees and the end of the foot. The total width of the two front teeth in the upper jaw over their height gives a golden ratio. The width of the first tooth from the center to the second tooth also yields a golden ratio. Number of petals in a flower consistently follows the Fibonacci sequence. The theorem has one petal, Euphobia has two, Lithium has three, Petunia has five, Delphium has eight, Jacobia vulgaris has 13, Daisies have 13, 21, or 34 petals. The head of a flower is also subject to the Fibonacci series. Typically, seeds are produced at the center and then migrate towards the outside to fill all the space. Sunflowers provide a great example of these spiraling patterns. In some cases, the seed heads are so tightly packed that the total number can get quite high, as many as 144, or even more. And when counting these spirals, the total tends to match Fibonacci number. Interestingly, a highly irrational number is required to optimize filling. Five fits the bill rather nicely. The Fibonacci sequence can be seen in the way tree branches split. A main trunk will grow until it produces a branch, which creates two growth points. One of the new stem branches into two, while the other one lies dominant. This pattern is repeated for each of the new stems, as you also exhibit the same pattern. Yeah.